大家好，欢迎来到 I am Leslie Jones。documenting my land and building process in Ghana. So if you're thinking about doing the same thing, this is the channel for you. And I also give tips so you don't have to start from scratch. Tip time, Mikasa or Mikasa. This app is a real estate property search app. You can use it for Ghana. I think you can use it for Nigeria too, but this is where I started guys. YouTube and this app, I didn't know where to start. I'm the first one to land in, on the motherland in over 400 years. I had no connections, knew no one, but this is where I started. Through this app, I was able to start somewhere. You can put in what you want. Are you looking to buy land? Are you looking to rent an apartment? What city, location do you want to be in? What's your budget? You can put that all in and boom, it just gives you a list of what you're specifically looking for. You can even contact the agent through here. Warning, anyone can post anything on here, so do your due diligence. Remember in my first video I said, do not give your money until you bring a surveyor to the land and you get a lands commission search. Okay, let's get into the update. My last video, I got my indentures, yay! But there's an issue. Earl, play the footage so the people can get caught up. I'm subleasing from the developer. He put on my indenture that my 50 year sublease started in May of 2021. <gasps> I did not land in Ghana until August 25th, 2021. I paid for the land in October of 2021. He gave me the receipt of my payment in November of 2021. So why did he put May 20th of 2021? And I know, I know my Ghanaian brothers and sisters, I read your comments. You guys told me, don't worry, don't take it too seriously. It's small, small. Just the date being wrong is okay, it's not a big deal. Once the land's in your name, it's registered, it's with you forever. I understand. And I almost accepted it, almost. Because this process has been so draining. From this video thinking I had the right indenture in October, to this video them returning my indentures because it's unregisterable and unregisterable, unregisterable. So I was like, you know what, just accept it. It's just, it's wrong, just, just accept it. But I couldn't, <laughs> I could not. I couldn't accept the fact that I had to compromise on my side of the agreement because someone decided to pull a date out of their arch and slap it on my legal documents that's going to be with my family for generations. It's the principle of the matter. What's wrong with operating in excellence? What's wrong with having my legal documents say what they're supposed to say? Huh? Good news that the developer contacted me back after I reached out to him again. I was more soft and pleading because you know I can tend to be very strong. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, so we all suspected that it was negligence, right? He said he was in a rush. Okay. Great news, my indenture is updated. I got the right date on it. And the process continues. So what I learned from this negligent act is the start of your lease or sublease is stipulated on your agreement. So I landed in Ghana, August 25th. Guys, I was so serious. I visited the land August 26th. I 
met with the developer that same night and then he gave me the offer agreement on August 26th. I signed that puppy, I returned it, start giving my first uh, payment and boom, August 26th is the day I did that. So that's when my sublease started. I got back three months and again, I can hear you guys saying, Leslie, it's not that serious. Well, this is why I took this so seriously. Beautiful people. I'm trying to create an encouraging story. I'm trying to get the diaspora to come here and invest and contribute to the motherland. Africa is, there's so much opportunity here. And the foreigners, the other non-African groups know this and they're buying up land like hotcakes while people of the land are clueless, okay? So, and I know how my people act, especially from the States. We are not trying to go through unnecessary stress. So I want my land certificate within one year. So my representative at the Lands Commission told me, a land certificate can take six months to the longest she's seen, three years. And I said, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. So my goal is to get it within one year. Cause that's more of an attractive story. Like, oh, you're thinking about um, investing or buying land or building in Ghana. Uh, it took a year for me to get my land certificate. Instead of, oh, I don't know. I had to get a lawyer and I'm fighting for my land. What? <laughs> a lot of you guys warned me, get a lawyer, get a lawyer. I totally understand. I mean, get a lawyer, getting a lawyer is smart. There's nothing wrong with getting a lawyer. But in my mind and in my heart, I said, there has to be a way to do this without getting lawyers involved. Did I take a risk? Yes. Did I get my teeth kicked in in some situations? Yes. But I didn't go into this stupidly. I went to Ghana three times within a year. I basically lived there for almost three months. I developed relationships. I got to get to know people. I vetted them. And I wanted to prove there are good hearted people in Ghana. Like I refuse, I refuse to believe that everyone's corrupt. Like there's no way. Now it is true. One of the first things I was told going to Ghana, trust no one. So I kept that in mind for sure, for sure. But I truly believe like, no, there's some good hearted people in Ghana and we can get through this process without getting the law involved. And guess what guys, I proved it. It is proven. Now I can tell you, and you can see if you watch my land purchasing um, playlist, everything I went through, I developed a team. of trusted people and I have the evidence with my own paperwork. Let's go! Come on! You can't tell me that's not deep. Do I have lawyers in my back pocket? Of course I do. But I wanted to prove that this system, this process can be non-intimidating and less unknowns and it is done. So today I share with you in Premiere vision-reality.com. This is the system I developed to streamline the land purchasing process. Developing the system was very important to me. I truly believe purchasing land on the motherland should be stress-free and methodical. If you are a do-it-yourself type, I will refer you to my networking group, provide a checklist and price list, and you can start your journey. If you rather have an assistant, that assistant would be me. I will virtually assist you, basically do for you as I did for myself. I am a firm believer in leading from the front, so I will only introduce you to people I have worked with for my own land. The tab to the right upper corner will lead you to land options. As I establish relationships with chiefs and developers, the options will increase. This will all start with a complimentary discovery call. I'll share with you my experience, the land purchasing culture in Ghana, and confirm if me being your land liaison is a good fit for you. See, there's a method to my madness. <sighs> Let's get a glass and celebrate. <laughs> Yeah.
Come back!